Hello and welcome to my channel. I am back with a, another GarageBand tutorial. I have done two of these before, so I will put them up here as well as down in the description. If you are brand new to editing on GarageBand, I would start with my how to edit on GarageBand video because it shows the very basics on how to get started. And then the other video that I did was how to speed up a song on GarageBand. So you can check that one out if you're looking to do those things. In this video, I will be showing you how to record sound on GarageBand so you can do a voiceover or just record a voice. It's very easy to do and you can do it without an external microphone or you can attach microphones and do it with that. So let's get started. Okay, so open GarageBand and then click on empty project and then you're going to want to click on the microphone, double click on that and open that up. So over on the left side, there's a button that says voice. And if you open that up, there's a bunch of different effects you can use if you want to make fun voice effects on your GarageBand. You can also play around if you want more room to edit and get rid of the sidebar with the voice and make the audio section smaller or bigger. I always unclick that purple icon at the top as I don't like the ticking sound, but you can leave that on if you like it. Okay, at the very top here, you will see the red record button. That is what you are going to press. Hello, this is me recording on GarageBand. It gives you a quick countdown and then you go ahead and record. Hello, this is me recording on GarageBand. And then you will see on the bottom here, you can edit it. If you need to cut something out or make it shorter, you can cut it on the bottom. And you can also move it over if you'd like to record something ahead of it. Hello, I am still recording. And then you are free to move the different clips around if you want to put them together or move the order. You can move them around as you like. And then here are some of the fun sounds you can play around with. Test recording on GarageBand. 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 <laughs> Test recording on GarageBand. On GarageBand. Okay, when it comes down to you wanting to share it, what you're going to do is hit the button at the very top that says share and then click song to music. Then you can label it however you like. And then you're going to hit share. Hello, this is me recording on GarageBand. You can also save it on your GarageBand and then you are able to go back in and work on it again later if you need to or just have it there to save it. Okay, so thank you so much for watching and you can let me know below in the comments if you have any questions on how to do that. And you can also let me know below in the comments if there are any other things that you would like to learn how to do on GarageBand. GarageBand is free, so it's super awesome to use to edit your music. Make sure to like this video and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.